has been a while and I hope you guys have been well. So in today's video, I'll be attempting to bust this real estate myth. You know how when you're buying a property and people always talk about location, 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 right? But is location really the most important factor? So it depends on the purpose of buying, whether you're buying it for your own stay or whether you're buying it for investment. So if you're buying it for your own stay, of course you want to buy in a location that you like, that is convenient for you, right? But if you're buying it for investment, does it really matter where you are buying? What matters is that the project makes money, am I right? Okay, so today we'll be looking at a real-life case study of two projects and at the end of the video, you decide if location is really the most important factor. Okay, so let's do this. So these two projects have very similar characteristics. They're both situated near an MRT station and are mixed developments, which means they comprise of residential as well as commercial units. The first development is the Centuries, which is located in Jurong West. It is a 99-year leasehold project just next to Boon Lay MRT station and seated above Jurong Point shopping mall. I stay in Jurong, so personally, I think this is a great place, but everyone always jokes about how you need a passport to enter Jurong, blah, 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 right? But I love it, okay? <laughs> the other development is Scott Square, which is located in town. It is a freehold project just two minutes walk away from Orchard MRT station and is seated above the fancy boutique luxury mall that is Scott Square. So now as a buyer, which project do you think will be a better buy? If you're talking purely about location, of course Orchard is as prime as it gets, right? So based on location, Scott Square should be a better buy. But now let's take a look at some numbers. So Scott Square first launched in 2007 and was going at an average of 3,900 PSF. It obtained its TOP in 2011, and at that point, sub-sale units were selling at about 3,700 PSF, which was lower than its initial launch price. Upon CSC in 2013, resale units were transacting at around 3,300 PSF. Currently, prices are at an average of 3,500 PSF. As of now, there are only 7 profitable transactions and 47 unprofitable transactions in this project. Now let's take a look at the centuries. The Centuries was launched in 2006 and was going at an average of 500 PSF. It obtained its TOP in 2009 and at that point, sub sale units were transacting at 7 to 800 PSF. Upon CSC in 2012, resale units were going at an average of 1,100 PSF and has stayed that way up to now. So if you bought a unit in 2006 at 500 PSF and sold it now at 1,100 PSF, you would have made 600 per square foot. So for simple calculations, if your unit is 1,000 square feet, you would have made 600,000. Of course, this is before deducting interest and other transactional fees, but that is still a very substantial amount. As of now, there are only 11 unprofitable transactions and 463 profitable transactions in this project. 463, guys! Still think that Jurong is a crappy location? Right, so now you tell me, is location really the most important factor? I'm not saying that location is totally unimportant, but besides location, there are other factors that you need to consider before buying a property. Right, and I'll be sharing more on that in my upcoming videos, so do look out for those. Okay, so we have come to the end of today's video, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!